In February 1937, the United States Army Air Corps issued Circular Proposal X-608, which was a set of air performance goals for a twin-engine, high-altitude interceptor. In June the same year, Lockheed won the competition with its Model 22, and was contracted to build a prototype XP-38. Construction began in July 1938, and the first flight took place January 27, 1939. In February 1939, the XB-38 set a speed record flying between California and New York in 7 hours and 2 minutes. Unfortunately the XB-38 was wrecked in the process. However, the record flight was enough to make the Air Corps order 13 YP-38 prototypes, and in fact some believe the loss of the XB-38 prototype sped up the development. The first YP-38 was completed in September 1940. It flew for the first time September 17. The YP-38 had been substantially redesigned to improve stability. Test flights showed that the aircraft's tail would begin to shake violently at high speeds approaching Mach 0.68, especially during dives. The dive would also steepen, the aircraft would enter a compressibility stall and the controls would lock up. Although very aware of the problem, the Lockheed engineers had to concentrate on delivering the first order of 65 Lightnings before they could focus on the problem. Several solutions were tried out, and in February 1943 the solution was found. Quick action flaps were installed that affected the pressure distribution in a way that retained the wing's lift. In April 1942, the Lightning entered service in World War II in the 8th Photographic Squadron in Australia. In May the same year, P-38s began operating in the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. The Aleutian Islands were known for severe weather conditions. More lightnings were lost due to these conditions than enemy action. In August 1942, two P-38s shot down a pair of Kawasini H-6K flying boats. The flying boats were the first Japanese aircraft shot down by P-38 lightnings. In August 1942, a P-38 operating from Iceland shot down a German Falke Wolf FW-200 Condor. This was the first Luftwaffe aircraft destroyed by the United States Army Air Forces. The 1st and 14th fighter groups, operating P-38s, were based in the UK, but were soon transferred to the 12th Air Force in North Africa. They were first involved in combat operations on November 11, 1942. The P-38 had some success in the Mediterranean theater, but this was also where it suffered its highest losses during the war. This was due to the early American strategy of keeping fighter escorts close to bombers, instead of allowing them to defend aggressively and clear the airspace for the bombers. The Lightning also served as long-range fighter escorts over Germany, to protect the bombing operations of the 8th Air Force. It also served as a fighter bomber during the invasion of Normandy, and the Allied advance across France into Germany. However, an evaluation of the P-38's role as a bomber escort proved it to be inadequate for the role. It was slower than the German fighters, and most Lightnings were replaced by P-51 Mustangs by fall 1944. The Lightning was used most successfully in the Pacific Theater. Its long range, and the reliability of two engines were well suited for long missions over water. It especially served as a bomber escort, and was credited with shooting down more Japanese aircraft than any other American fighter. It was less agile than many of the Japanese fighters, but had a speed advantage. The P-38 shot down more than 1,800 Japanese aircraft. More than 10,000 Lightnings were produced until 1945, but by the end of the war the P-38 had been rendered obsolete by the jet age. The Lightning was retired from U.S. service in 1949, but served in other countries until 1965. Besides the United States, the Lightning was used by Australia, the Republic of China, the Dominican Republic, France, Honduras, Italy, Portugal and the United Kingdom, 